Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and this is a little uh, video to explain about the bearing that I have used in my artificial gravity system. I get asked a lot about that. Uh, the thread also spawned a large discussion about how to spell Mjolnir, um, and which is a great name for this, but uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what spelling to use now. Anyway, so what we have here, you now can zoom in close and I can show you what's going on here. So we have, in the middle, we have a bearing. Now this is the, the free spinning bearing, which comes, although it says damned robotics, it actually came with the modular multi-wheels packs. It's essentially a rototron with no built-in power, right? I have one on either side, and in the middle we have this box. And if I just pull off the side here, you can see that it is one of those six-way uh, six nodes. Now, that actually was why I had the problem with my spacecraft, with my rocket, banking off to one side, because the flow, the fuel flow, doesn't work correctly. It's uh, The symmetry does not matter, or does not work correctly in this case. If I pull this off, you see the other side doesn't come off. There is no symmetry going on here. So you have to build identical copies on each side. Um, so I can just drop that back in there. There's some batteries and whatever. The... The yeah, in there you can see the little quantum struts there, and I matched map those to to number six, key six in the action groups, so that will act as my locking system for when it's in use. And if I come over and I zoom out, you can see on the end I actually have some rockets. And the main reason for that is that I need to be able to turn this up to speed and just a little bit of thrust, and then let it rotate all on its own, right? So that's the theory. Now let's go to Launchpad and see how this actually works in practice. Okay, so we are in, uh, well, we have escaped the planet through, a, of course, judicious use of cheats, just so I can actually demonstrate this. Now, up in the top right, you'll notice I have the servo control thing. It doesn't do anything. And in fact, right now, if I try to rotate it, it won't work because there are these struts here. So I actually have to decouple this. Hold on. Decouple... And it gives me control of the top side, but actually the bottom side is the one that is useful. So let's actually just back it up and back it in. Set as target. Will that work? Did I go far enough away? Nope, it didn't want to dock. Ah, I've got to go further back. Activate docking camera. How far do you, how back do you have to go to make these things work? I've never figured that out. It'd just be nice to have this on top of... Nope, that is not far enough. And we're going to hit the time warp again. Because time warp is killing the rotation. Okay, so... Go a little further back yet. Now, maybe? Are you going to dock? It says, it says, it says, it says it's doing fine. I'll reduce my velocity just a little. Ah, there we go. Okay, so now we have a complete spaceship without struts to get in the way. The only struts that are stopping us from moving are the quantum struts. And I can disable these by pressing 6. Now, if I try to roll the spacecraft, you see the front uh, unit. That has torque on it. There is a small amount of torque from this, but it is way smaller. So watch, if as I roll the whole spacecraft... Well, you see that this one is actually rolling very slowly the opposite direction gets kind of confused and then if I press 6 everything locks up and eventually gets into lockstep rotation right so if we just time accelerate of course we kill the rotation again so the way to make this rotate or the way I made it rotate for the videos was I used these engines here activate them and so if I disable the struts again and then throttle up just a little, it rotates. And that's, you know, only needs a very small amount of thrust to actually make it rotate. And it will hold that position for a relatively long period of time. It's relatively stable, but if you leave it going for hours and hours on end, it will eventually start to tumble just because there are random, you know, imperfections in the system. Now, if I just go in and I turn on infinite fuel, right, that's Alt F12 for everyone that keeps asking, right Alt and F12. I can actually make this go faster and you'll essentially see 
what will happen? Well, the top starts to wobble, doesn't it? And it does really weird things. Woo! Nice. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wonderful fly hard if I really if I leave that going. This is just what happens is it's spinning too fast and it precesses and then things start to break. Forces go in the wrong directions. And like the <laughs> That is a crazy rocket there. And then if I wonder what happens if I hit six. Now the whole thing wants to catch up. Excellent. <laughs> That is pretty awesome. I have to say, I had not thought that I was going to do this. I thought I was just going to be showing off all the other stuff. Now, I guess if I turn this off, let's X. See what happens. <laughs> and I guess it's going to try and stabilize, but I wonder... Yeah, look, the struts, because the struts were set off-center, Right? The whole thing is going to hold this off-center position. So if I turn the struts back on and off, we'll get another wobble here. Watch. Oh, come on. Come on. Ready. Turn them off, and it goes straight again. Oh. <laughs> so, oh, wow. You see now it's actually going into a tumbling motion. And this is all because the moments of inertia are all in, a, in particular positions and all that. Um, it's very easy to get these things into chaotic motion, so don't make them spin too fast, right? Uh, the way I always did the docking was I set up the rotation by switching to it, and then I switched back to my vessel and then let them rotate. The servo controls do nothing. There is no power in these things. They're entirely free rotating bearings. You don't need to mess with them. But of course, once you time warp, everything stops rotating. Anyway, so to summarize, the main things you need are the quantum struts to lock it down. You need the damned robotics pack, and then you need the modular multi-wheels pack, which contains the bearing. Everything else is uh, unnecessary to the actual bearing. You can see that the uh, connecting areas with the windows on them, I believe those come from the fire spitter propellers pack. It's all about building aircraft. And yeah, I think that's the main things you're, you're seeing there. I will probably have this up at some point as a model on Kerbal Spaceport. I just need to actually spend the effort and time and get those out there. But anyway, until then, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.